Hello, I'm Dongan here. Hello, everyone. So in today's video, as I told you yesterday, if you watched that video, uh, we will be moving on to ROM, and it is the Flor de Cana 18-year-old. If you have seen my videos and follow this channel, you know that I did a video about the Flor de Cana 12-year-old a couple of months ago. I have a little sample here. So I will notice this a little bit just to compare it with the 18 year old. The reason why I'm opening up the 18 year old bottle is because I'm having my dad and my brother-in-law uh, over tomorrow to do some whiskey and rum tasting. Um, and I thought that I would open the Florida as a special little treat. Um, also in a couple of weeks, I'm meeting with some friends um, so I can bring the bottle there as well. So. Yeah, there's plenty of good reasons to uh, to open this bottle now because yeah, just yeah, because there's plenty of reasons to be drinking it. The uh, this is a uh, legacy edition, as you can see, a special box in it, and um, really colorful. I'm um, not really into that colorful, really colorful stuff. There's a whole book in here about um, about the distillery and uh, the rum history and everything. Um, pretty nice book. It's uh, it's both in English and in Portuguese or Spanish. And here we have the beautiful bottle. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Big stopper, a natural cork. Um, I'm really looking forward to tasting this and I hope it's better than the 12 year old. The 12 year old kind of disappointed me a little bit. Um, um, yeah, this one, the 18 year old is a uh, chill filter and artificially colored like the 12 year old was or, or is. Um, there's no sponsored content in this video and as always everything on this channel is just my opinion. So now you know. Um, it is a uh, single estate slow aged rum, uh, which is a little bit weird thing, not the single estate. The single estate means that is it is just from the same distillery, uh, the same house, the same yeah estate. Uh, slow aged means that it's just 18 year old is um, the youngest rum that's in there is actually 18 year olds. Some when they make rum, they add stuff to uh, uh, progress the aging uh, process uh, faster, so that it doesn't have to be in um, in the casks as long. Um, this one hasn't. It has uh, the Solero system. I recently learned that the Solero system doesn't mean that it's a uh, like the single estate. It's a system uh, in which they uh, mix the different kinds of rum to get the same taste. So uh, this one hasn't had that. So some people call the Solero system a cheating. Um, I don't. It's just a way to uh, to ensure that the bottles and the uh, rum is uh, consistent, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. We should uh, we should crack this open and see what happens. If you if you feel like sharing a link to this video or any of my other videos, please do so on um, on your Facebook, on your Twitter, wherever with friends in a uh, in a chat with friends, whatever, and uh, just feel free to uh, share that um, share the link to the videos. Hmm. Sweet, really sweet. Really dark. Oh no, it's not. It doesn't look like it's real cork. Yes, it is. But it's beautiful, isn't it? I think it is. It was um, Floridicania was uh, a colleague of mine said I should try it, and uh, that's why I bought it. And he is actually uh, 
also joining me in a couple of weeks and we're going to a party with old colleagues and um, I thought I'd bring this. He had the 12 year old ones and he had some of the younger ones way back a lot of times. So I thought when I bought this on his, uh, he, he told me to, he recommended it. So I thought it would be a good thing to bring it so that he can taste the 18 year old as well. Spices. Honey and vanilla. And also a bit of a kick. But not too much. Not too much kick. And look at the legs. I don't you. Yes, you can't see that. I think so really uh oily and the consistency is uh, a little bit uh maybe a little bit thicker than normal that's why the legs are so uh so profound spices vanilla honey and a bit of oak actually let me just try and this is just going to be in this there's absolutely no Apparently that's impossible to do in such a small bottle because I can't get anything out of that. Or maybe this is just so powerful that the other one vanishes comparison. Oh, by the way, this is the uh, beautiful Luigi Bordemioli glass uh, titanium reinforced crystal glass. In my opinion, well, one of the best glasses out there for sniffing and tasting. Cheers. The palate has power, sharpness, a little, only a little bit with um, vanilla and honey and and spices only a little bit of vanilla and honey but a lot of spices and some oak and the finish is smooth and mouth-watering and just completely butters your entire mouth and really sweet vanilla and honey and some kind of chocolate maybe fudge or nougat Mm. really nice as i remember i wasn't really fond about this one but but it seems like the the extra six years has uh has done something really good for this rum because i like this a lot better it's not for me as good as the dictator and maybe even the plantation but it's up there let's go Less sharpness the second time around, of course. The mouth and the brain and everything adjust to to the uh, strong liquor. Um, but really good, really good. And the price is actually lower than the dictator and the um, and also the plantation. Um, and so sweet, but also warm. So there's spices and oak and a little bit of. Uh, kick and sharpness to the palate and then at the end it's the finish is um and it's long there's a lot of finish the finish starts out smooth with uh, a lot of sweetness vanilla and chocolate and um then actually moves back to 
spices and warmth not down your body but in your mouth it's warm like pepper really good I can't remember where I put this but I think it was just above average this is a lot better to me um, so for me the Floridicania 18 year old will be a an 8 8 out of 10 for me for the Floridicania 18 year old rum um, I forgot to say how much it cost it cost around 450 Danish crowns which is about 45 English pounds and 60 American dollars give or take a little for 70 centiliters so that's reasonably priced uh, it's beautiful and um, there's quality in the stopper and the cork and in bottle and the labels um, so all of that taken into consideration is actually qu quite reasonably priced um, rum um, I highly recommend it because it is really good and um, if you're in the shop uh, don't know if to get the 12 year old or the 18 year old spend the extra money for the 18 year old because if you taste both you will know where the extra money went it's uh, it's just a lot better so yeah 8 out of 10 for the Floricania 18 year old for me um, thank you for watching if you uh, like this video please give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down um, please comment ask questions uh, comment with ideas uh, to new videos new liquors or spirits or stuff I should taste and um, I will respond to all comments no matter what you write um, please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this uh, it will really mean a lot to me in this channel and as always please go check out my Instagram stunk on underscore uh, there's a lot of small videos and, um, and pictures of all kinds of stuff that I do uh, every day so uh, and follow me there if you like what you see so um, oh and, and remember as I said in the beginning uh, feel free to share a link to this video on your Facebook Twitter in a chat whatever with your friends uh, that would also mean a lot to me so um, yeah and tomorrow I'm having my dad and my brother-in-law over for a traditional lunch Danish lunch and uh, afterwards we're going to be tasting uh, beers rum and whiskey so um, that's going to be great I'm going to be doing a short video about that and how that looks uh, so please check that out too thank you for watching see you next time bye